Hello fellow gardeners, Mary Jane here, and today's video is all about seed shopping. Uh, specifically, I'm doing seed shopping for my annual vegetable garden. So I'm um, really trying to stay focused on vegetable seeds. Uh, that's one of the problems I've had with seed shopping before, is there's so many things that look beautiful and uh, it can be tempting to just add them all to the cart. So um, overbuying is something to stay away from. Um, also missing something totally or regretting the variety that you bought. You know, you're gonna be putting like a ton of time into your seeds uh, in terms of effort and yeah, actual, actual care, tending time. And you wanna put that time into a variety uh, and veggies that you're really happy to grow and enjoy um, because it is an investment. For me, the most important thing to remember when shopping for seeds is not to go in cold. Do not start seed shopping without a list. <laughs> Don't go to the grocery store without a list. Don't go to Costco without a list. Uh, but definitely, don't go seed shopping without a list. Um, if you've gardened before or you're a foodie, you might have an idea of what you wanna grow already, that's great. Um, write those types of vegetables down, um, but you're gonna have to narrow it down just from like carrots to like a specific kind of carrot sold by a specific seed company. So um, start now with what you know you want. Uh, and then there's a few ways to kind of fill in the blanks and round out your list. Um, if there's crops that you know grow really well in your area that you'd like to try, um, there's always Pinterest. Um, the seed company websites are like frightfully tempting. There's so many things on them, uh, especially the good sites. And I'll get to some seed companies and their websites later. Um, but probably the most common way that people seed shop is with seed catalogs. Now, these are like, they're kind of dangerous because you want everything in them. Well, I do anyway. Um, and I don't think I'm alone in that. Uh, they make them so beautiful. Uh, some of them, they'll actually send you them for free because they know that they're gonna get their money back. <laughs> um, this one here, I've got one here. Um, this is a beautiful one. This one is from Baker Creek. Um, Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds. And like, look at how beautiful their catalog is. There's gonna be more information on the website. Um, but, so what I would recommend to do is like, the day before you actually intend on ordering your seeds. Get your seed catalogs, your cup of tea, go sit on the couch away from your computer or phone or anywhere that you could possibly do any ordering. Uh, and, um, and then make your list. So, so make your list um, away and before from the seed ordering. Okay, so we've got the list, we've taken the seed catalog and it's away and out of sight. Um, and the next thing we have to do is to see what seeds you actually have already. Um, now, if you're, you haven't gardened before, you won't have any seeds, so that's a pretty simple seed inventory to take. Um, if you have gardened before, you may have a frightening number of seeds hanging around uh, to go through. Um, I think I'm getting pretty good at not like totally hoarding the seeds um, because yeah, for a while there, I had a lot. I had a lot, um, you know, it'll go from a Ziploc bag that you keep for next year and then the next year it's a shoe box. And then like if you're bringing out the Rubbermaid totes, like I am not a farm, right? I, you know, I'm growing a few vegetables for me and my family to enjoy. So like, I don't need to have like a serious like, seed storage library. I like to have seeds so that if I can't get something in a certain year, I'm I'm still able to grow it. Uh, so I do save some seeds. And also there's some that just, there's so many come in a packet or the, the deal is better if I buy two years worth at once. Um, so I gotta check out my seeds from last year. So I keep my seeds in this little photo storage box. That's pretty standard. I think that, um, yeah, it's kind of the trendy way to store seeds um, lately if you have a lot. Um, yeah, it's just a, I think it's a box for, for storing like printed photos, but they have them at Michael's. They have them on Amazon. I'll put, I'll put a link to the one. I got this at Michael's and so I'll put, I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, but I got this small one. 
so that I can't store more seeds than fit in this little box and that's I have to be okay with that it's got all these little boxes inside of it um, if microgreens um, but today <laughs> focus on annual vegetables so I know I have some seeds in here already so these are this is like a bib lettuce um, so I know I'm definitely gonna grow this these are burpee seeds I know that I got them last year because I try not to take carry seeds for too many years if I've had this seeds for a few years um, I'll take them to the seed swap if I felt like if I'm not growing them I'll take them to the seed swap so that they can still be grown by somebody um, and I'll write you know if, if they don't have the date they usually have the date on them but um, if they don't have the date on them I'll write that on them so yeah I don't really try not to keep seeds forever it's no good they need to be grown so go through the seeds you have compare them to that list that you made yesterday uh, and see what's left to buy uh, you might have to buy everything there might only be a couple things that you need to buy this year um, but now at least we have like a direction and a list and we know where we're at <laughs> So now it's time to go find the seeds on the list. Um, there's a few companies that, that I start with. I used to just go to CD Saturday with my list, um, but now I, I find it is like less stressful if I just order them online early uh, and then I know I have them. Um, so that's what I'm, I'm doing now. Uh, so I'm gonna go through a bunch of places I like to look for seeds when I'm shopping for seeds. Uh, and I'll put links below in the description of this video so that you can check them out yourself. Um, but I will go through them here. Uh, I start with a Johnny's site. The Johnny's site is excellent. Um, they have nice categories of all the different kinds of vegetables and easy choice vegetables. No shame. I totally go to this section. Um, because I don't want to be fighting with my vegetable garden. No. So here's an example of a product page on the Johnny's site. This one is for spinach. This looks like a nice smooth normal looking spinach um, called space uh, this is organically grown so these are certified organic seeds um, they're hybrids um, so they're not heirloom seeds they're hybrid seeds they're like newfangled seeds not old-fashioned seeds but that like that's fine um, they're organically grown um, if you want heirloom seeds uh, you, you know Johnny's has heirloom seeds too um, yeah, I've never seen any GMO seeds for sale um, on any of these websites. And most of them have like pages dedicated to like their stance on GMO or like organic and that kind of stuff. Um, okay, so packet for 90 and then you can buy like more seeds if you want. But I, for me, with, with my like little home garden, a packet is almost always all I need. Um, unless there's like a crazy better price. <laughs> to buy in bulk. Um, another website that's good is the Haas website. And I like this one because they have nice categories. They have, they'll separate out their heirlooms and they'll separate out these um, kind of award-winning seeds, um, which I find to be really trustworthy. So if I'm trying something new and I don't know, like I don't have a specific variety that I want, it's really nice to just go to, okay, let's look at the AAS winners. And as I know, I need a lettuce. So I'm going to go with, you know, butter crunch lettuce. And, and you can say, okay, um, it's probably trustworthy if you haven't grown it before. Like I haven't grown butter crunch lettuce before, but I'm going to grow it this year because I trust it because it's an AAS winner. Uh, so I like this site for that. They've got lots of other, yeah, and you can look at just heirlooms too if you're interested in that. Um, but uh, but if heirloom seeds are really your thing, um, Baker Creek. So Baker Creek heirloom seeds, which is rareseeds.com, um, is fantastic and like so cool. When the seeds come, I'm just like they're so beautiful. They're clearly marketed to home gardeners, not to, uh, not to farms. And they are, yeah, beautifully packaged. Okay, let's say we want to grow heirloom tomatoes because that's pretty common, right? So 
tomatoes red. So let's have a look at their red tomatoes. So what I what I like about the Elm Creek site is they have real photos that are pretty. <laughs> They actually look appealing. Some of the seed companies, like the photos are maybe technically correct, but they do not look appealing. Um, I don't want to buy that. The nice part about the, the Baker Creek site is that they have lots of reviews on their site, so you can read what other people um, kind of thought about them. So that's nice. Uh, and they have lots of fun different varieties. Um, this year I'm growing brandy wine which is probably, do they have pink? So you can search. And it's gonna come up with a few different options. So I'm just growing like the plain old normal red brandy wine um, because I grew up, I've grown so many different types and this is the favorite. Um, oh yeah, the most popular heirloom vegetable, obvs. Uh, they're not quite as much information as on Johnny's um, in terms of like details, but they have tons of great reviews. Uh, you know that they're all um, heirloom if that's what you're looking for. And um, the pictures are beautiful. They usually have multiple pictures, so that's nice. And I find that the pictures actually look like what you grow. So that's also very good. And they have free shipping. So the last seed company I tend to check out first is Botanical Interests. And they are one that's totally targeted towards home gardeners. Uh, they do a really nice job of, of, of kind of narrowing it down for you into nice varieties so you're not completely overwhelmed. And I generally like the varieties that they pick. Um, I'm, there's often things that I can find here that I can't find anywhere else. Um, in terms of, of their site, yeah, they've got so heirloom and organic separated out. Uh, they do have a lot more organic seeds, actually. Um, every year I see that they have more and more organic seeds. Uh, so this is one where they've mostly got paintings, um, like old school botanical pictures. Um, but I, I, I do find they're pretty true to what you get. Uh, let's see, what is something I was looking for? So one thing I was looking for that I couldn't find very many places was a honey nut squash. So this is like a tiny little butternut squash um, and we we got a few of them in the fall from from an orchard that that has a little farm stand and they were delicious um, oh my goodness so I really want to grow them they're definitely more for like the home gardener uh, because they're smaller and it also has in other tabs some more info and that can be helpful um, but I really like this site, um, you know, because they do have a lot of organic seeds, um, but they do a really good job of selecting them for you. They also have lots of nice, um, herbs and I, you know, I think they have some collections. This is the other thing I really like about botanical interests is that if you're just getting started, um, or if you kind of don't want to like wade through the weeds, um, in terms of picking individual varieties, they have done a nice job. Um, so yeah, Chef's Herb Garden. So Basic Bounty Vegetable Collection. Basic Bounty Vegetable Collection. Um, look out, it's already out of stock. <laughs> um, but you can find, uh, hopefully it's back in stock soon. Um, what I really like about their collections is um, they've done a good job of picking really nice varieties that aren't too hard to grow, um, that are reliable, but that taste great, um, and putting them together in a nice little set for you. Um, now, obviously, if they're out of stock, you can just go separately and see what's available. If you just want a nice little collection, um, they do a good job of that. Uh, okay, speaking of seed collections, if you really want like a beautiful seed collection, um, Hudson Valley makes these, I think they call them like art packs. They're beautiful, beautiful little seed packages. This one has spinach, kale, lettuce, and rainbow chard, baby bok choy. Okay, so that's like a greens collection. Uh, and this is on terrain. I think you can buy them directly from Hudson Valley. Um, I've just seen them mostly on terrain. Vegetable garden, okay, so what's in the vegetable garden one? 
Okay, so they're veggie garden seed set. So five seed packs. So what do they got? Beet blend. Nice. Okay, so again, this is nice because instead of buying like four different kinds of beets and it being like $20 worth of seeds, you can just get one pack that has multiple different kinds, which is nice if you're just wanting to try, uh, get started. Um, Tricolor beans, so this is another blend of beans. Salad bowl, nice. Radishes and carrots. Okay, so those are all really nice vegetables to get started. Um, your root veg, your, your beans, and then uh, the salad greens. Um, you don't often see too many tomatoes in these because tomato, like, tomatoes take a long time to grow from seed to a tomato. And there's so many wonderful nurseries that have tomato seedlings. I think they probably think you're gonna have better success um, with these faster growing vegetables. So I think that's probably why there's no tomatoes in this. Mm, okay, this is a site I really like. Fairy Morse is like a classic garden seed company, um, and they have a really excellent website. It's similar to Johnny's. So let's go to vegetable seeds. Um, yeah, there's lots of good photos. Um, there's lots of reviews um, and, and the details that you'd need to know. Okay, is this the variety that I want to pick or not? Uh, so, and, and they do a good job of kind of giving you ideas of what to use them for and like basic instructions so that by the time you actually get the seeds, you have an idea of what to do. Um, okay, the other really nice thing about Fairy Morse is that they have live plants. So like if you're like, okay, I'm okay like growing my lettuce and beans and stuff from seeds, but I really wish that I had some tomatoes that were already started for me. And that's super common, um, so they do that. So get yourself on the list, get on the pre-order list um, so that you know you've like claimed your baby tomato plants um, or whatever else if you want other plants to start. I'm just always like all about like securing the whatever kinds of tomatoes <laughs> that I wanna grow. Um, I do grow them from seed too, but it's always nice to, to get some seedlings as well from a local nursery or from like a seed company that you trust. So Burpee's another one that has seeds, um, but also has plant versions of some of their seeds. So that's really nice. Um, so you can you can see that they have mostly seeds, um, but they do have some that you can buy as a plant. Uh, so that's really nice. And they've, they've separated them too. So the customer favorite vegetables, all right. So lots of reviews, like a ton of reviews, um, good photos, Detroit dark red, yum. The nice thing about companies like Burpee and Fairy Morse is you can not only order directly from them online, um, but you can usually also find their seeds like at Home Depot. So that's nice too if they're out of something online, maybe they have it in the shop. Um, they have, okay, so this is the Home Depot Home Depot site in vegetable seeds. Yeah, so Burpee, Burpee, Fairy Morse, Mountain Valley, I don't know those. Seeds of Change, um, Burpee. So yeah, if, if you can't find it on their actual site, maybe it's in stock at your local Home Depot. So that's nice. Uh, they also have, okay, yeah, Seeds of Change. Seeds of Change, I haven't bought these before from Seeds of Change directly. I, you know where I see them? Is it Costco? So I've, I've got these ones, I've grown these before, the brandy wines from uh, Seeds of Change, and they were excellent. So recommended. Um, Gurney's is also one that you see at, um, you can order from them, or you can get Gurney's at Home Depot. All right, that's enough online window shopping. Um, there are a few more companies. There's obviously endless companies. Um, FICO is a big one. Seed Savers Exchange, um, Southern Exposure, High Mowing, uh, Renee's Garden. That's another one with really beautiful illustrations on them. Um, uh, Territorial, Eden Brothers, Swallowtail. Yeah. Here in Canada, we've got Stokes, Bessie's, West Coast Seeds, um, Ontario, We've got uh, Richter's Herbs, which is excellent for some, some harder to find herb seeds, but they have veggies too. I think they have plantlings too, or plantlings, I think, seedlings too. 
So if you really want to go like small business um, locally, yeah, CD Saturday, um, local shops. Um, but there's also a ton on Etsy, which I didn't think about until a few years ago. And I got, I think I got some tomato seeds off Etsy, um, some flower seeds, uh, and I, I had a good experience. Let's go through some of the small shops on Etsy where you can get seeds. Um, again, I'll put links in the description below so that you can find them. Um, but we got Seedville USA, like 300,000 sales. Oh my goodness, like 11,000 favorites. Crazy. Um, Smart Seeds Emporium. Nice. Um, Zella Jake Farm Garden. Elena Seeds, The Gardening World, <laughs> The Crazy Tomato Lady, love that, Zulu Seeds, um, and I haven't ordered from any of these places, Plants with Purpose, um, I forget where I actually ordered the seeds from because it was a few years ago online, but um, so obviously check the reviews uh, for these because I like I've never ordered from any of these before. But if you want to, you know, look around, find somebody local and you're not having luck um, in real life, um, check Etsy. Uh, Nature's Edge, uh, South Carolina, Caribou Sea County, this is in Canada. Canada and this one I think is yes yeah, in Canada also in Ontario so yeah there's a ton of seed companies on Etsy that you can check um, if you if you'd rather support a smaller seed company or if you're looking for something really specific um, it's a really nice place to check so this is another really good time to just pause we know what we want in terms of like generalities, <laughs> um, what we've got already, what we need to buy. Uh, and we've kind of had a little look-see at what's available around the net. Um, so give yourself some time to digest this information um, a little bit before you start to add anything to the cart at any seed company. So hopefully between all these companies, there's at least one or two that stand out to you that you'd like to order from. Um, I would recommend only ordering from like one or two if you can, or at least starting there, G getting as many things off your list from one or two companies in one or two orders if you can, instead of like willy nilly ordering them all over the place. Um, not that I've done that before. <laughs> so links to all the seed companies I've discussed are below this video in the description. Uh, and yeah, hopefully you've found a couple that resonate with you if you don't already have a favorite. Okay, another thing seed shopping is like you don't have to buy everything. You don't have to buy a radish just because there's radishes in the seed catalog, right? Like. You know, I totally forgot to grow carrots one year and I found a lovely stall at the farmer's market that sold delicious carrots and it was totally fine. Um, I'm fortunate to live in a place where we've got lots of great local farmers um, that I can depend on. I don't feel like I have to grow absolutely everything. Um, so obviously that's unique to your situation. Um, but just keep in mind, um, garden overwhelm is a real thing. It's totally a real thing. And if you go from having like two house plants one year and then the next year you have like this 400 foot garden like it's it's probably not gonna end well like I don't know for sure but I don't think it's gonna end well uh, this is something I talk about a lot in my garden planner I have a garden planner on my website that you can download um, and it it has like a seed list and talks a lot about like narrowing it down and like how much space do I actually have and what will fit in this space and and kind of making a lot of those decisions um, before you press like add to cart. I'll put a link to the garden planner on my website below this video too. Ooh, and let me know if you like this video. Click the thumbs up if you like it. That is, it totally just makes my day. Um, but also lets me know like which kind of videos I should be making. So if you click the thumbs up, that would be wonderful. If you like it, I'm hoping that if you hate it, you stopped watching a long time ago. <laughs> Um, 
but that would be wonderful and I will see you guys in my next videos. I think I'm gonna make different videos about like shopping for different kinds of seeds um, because nobody wants to watch like a three hour video of me choosing carrots. Maybe you do, I don't know, but I don't. <laughs> so I think I'll separate those out for you guys. So I will see you guys in a future seed video.